Welcome back to the channel. By the time you see this video, I will be in the middle of the Isle of Skye in Scotland, but I wanted to talk to you just a little bit about how I pack minimally and the decisions that go into which one of these two wandered bags I take. So I have a smaller bag that I really, really love, and it just opens up like a duffel bag. And and it will this on a normal trip, if I'm not doing landscape photography where I might get my feet wet, this bag will take everything that I need on a week-long trip. However, I am taking this bag, and the reason that I am taking this bag is quite simple. I am taking the bag because I need to carry these waterproof shoes. Okay, hold on. Time out. I filmed this video about packing about two weeks ago as I was sort of practicing getting everything together, and I've, I've left it sort of sitting, looking at it, you know, trying to think about, is this the right thing? Is this going to work the best? Now, what I have, what I had decided to do was use this wandered bag. So I get this off my microphone that has the larger area for shoes and a camera cube that I can get into from the side a camera cube for my camera gear. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought if I'm having to pack this huge bag just because of these shoes what change can i make and so what i decided was i normally wear these shoes when i'm just out walking and i was going to wear these shoes on the plane because they're slip-on shoes they're easy to get on and off um, and i decided good bad or indifferent to check these shoes and wear these shoes all week now they will get wet but they are waterproof inside and out they will dry out overnight uh, i still have um, the seal skin socks that go with them but by eliminating just this pair of shoes i have been able to get rid of this big bag which I really didn't want to carry around with me when I've got a five hour layover in Chicago, uh, in, yeah, in Chicago. And it will allow me to carry just this little tiny duffel bag. Um, and so I'm gonna show you how I've rearranged everything to do that real quick. So I am taking my Peak Design travel tripod. It's very lightweight, packs up nice and small. That's going in. I have, a, I have some um, packing cubes. Now, I'm a big believer in packing cubes. Other people aren't. That, that's fine. It's totally up to them. But in this packing cube, I have three merino wool long sleeve shirts um, that will do me all week long. Uh, I can wear them two or three days without worrying about having to wash them. If I do get them dirty or I do need to wash them, I can do that and hang it up overnight. And so that's going to go in here. And then I have another bag, very similar. These are all packing. I got the, I got the Wandered bag from Wandered, and I got all the packing cubes uh, from Wandered as well. And so in here, I have uh, all of my underwear for the week and one regular T-shirt. I'll have another regular t-shirt that I wear on the plane. And so that's going in here. And then these are compression cubes. So I'm just going to tighten this back up again so it packs down a little bit tighter. And they go in here side by side with no problem. So you can kind of see I don't have a top-down camera anymore. They go in here like that. And then in the larger camera cube, I have... I won't take it all the way out this time. You'll just have to trust me. You'll see it probably while I'm there. But I have my Hawkland rain jacket. Now, this rain jacket comes down about to my knees. It has a hood. Um, it is excellent. It, it's, it's just a wonderful jacket, and I will put a link to Hawkland. They gave me the opportunity to make a commission for selling these jackets. I'm not taking that. 
but I will put a link down in the description. If you're a photographer, they're designed specifically for photographers. Uh, and you can see my review in the link that I'll put in the description. And then I've got some merino wool socks. I'm wearing a pair of merino wool. These are, these are uh, calf length, uh, over the calf, I should say, compression socks. And then just a regular pair of socks as well. So all of that goes in here. And that has been sort of compressed down. And that goes down in the other end. So I have all of those packing cubes in here and I still have depth that I can use. So for that depth in the, there is a pocket here in the top and in that pocket, I am placing um, my toiletry bag. So this has everything but my toothbrush and toothpaste. I have that somewhere else to get to more easily. So that's going up here. And then with that is my multi-plug uh, for UK. And so that will do power outlets and USB. And so, um, and also a USB-C 3 plug in case I need that. And that just closes up really nicely. And then in addition, uh, I have another little uh, packing cube that I have thrown in just some assorted things here. Uh, my charging block for my camera batteries, a, an iPhone extra battery, um, the connection I need to get my USB cards onto my laptop, my microphone for my um, iPhone when I want to do the live stream. And so that's just going to go in here. And then I have my umbrella. I'm going to put that over here. This goes in here. And then I have this little setup right here, which is what I will put my iPhone on for when I'm doing my live streams. Um, and I'm just going to take this off so it will fold up a little smaller. But when you see me live stream, this is probably what I will be using. So that's going to go in here. Uh, it's got an extra battery I'm going to put over there. And then the socks go in here. The sealskin socks go in here. And that's everything that I'm going to pack with the exception of one shirt that will go in on top of this later today. I also have a place here inside for my laptop and I can use that or I also have a carry case that goes with my camera bag and I'll show that to you in a minute. I haven't decided yet which one I'm going to do with that. So I can close that up. I'm not going to close it right now because I've got to put that other shirt in here. By the way, I am recording this on the Saturday before I leave on Sunday because this is when I decided to make this change. So that's going over here. Uh, I also have a lightweight rain jacket that I will take with me on the plane that I can use when I get to the airport. In my camera bag, let's just, um, let's just look at a few things here. So I have, I was going to take two camera bodies and I decided I would just take one. So I have my R6 Mark II and the 28 millimeter pancake lens on it. I have my uh, 15 to 35, which I will use when I go to places like the ferry pools uh, or inside maybe a church or cathedral, I'll use that. And then in this bag, I have the, um, the 24 to 240, which will be my only telephoto lens. I decided to leave my 70 to 200 at home because it's just too big if I'm trying to pack minimally. Um, and so then this is where I have my toothpaste and toothbrush so that I can brush my teeth on the plane. I have um, extra batteries for my camera. I have my case magnetic filters. Um, I have extra SD cards that are going in here. I have the uh, variable neutral density filters for my DJI Pocket 2. Uh, so that's going in here. I've also got the tripod for that in case I need it. And then the extra battery I'll just throw in here. Um, 
and this is almost everything in um, in another pocket and there is an external pocket here in here I have my passport and uh, USB cables to plug in on the plane and then in this pocket I have my little platypod uh, that I can use if I uh, when I'm out with a camera and I want to put it on a platform somewhere I can do that and so this then is my camera bag and it's just a sling bag it just fits over my shoulder like this so that I can carry it it will connect my um my covered up my no it will connect, uh, attach my um, tripod to it so I can just carry it all nice and neat. And that is how I am traveling to Scotland. So, we leave tomorrow. We'll see you there.